Yo, what up, gamers? It's Rogi from Citizen Hack. Um, I'm sure to inject 64 bit for Gary's mod. Open up the betas, set it to 64 bit. Click close. Uh, I already have it, so it doesn't update, but once that's ready, open up Citizen Hack. Log in. Okay, it's ready to launch. Click play. 64 bit. Client says it's injected, so now you can join any server you want. I'm gonna join Superior servers, one of the most popular servers. Probably running a bunch of bots in it though, there's a lot of AFK people in the spawn. But yeah, once you're inside, you'll see some, some logs in my client console. Um, that's a setting inside the menu that's mainly for just developing plugins and just seeing what servers are doing to your client. Might have noticed randomly colored boxes floating around on my ESP. That's entities I've added to my to my hack. So these pink ones are microwaves. Uh, so I have a setting as well that when you look at it, it'll show you the entity name so you can easily add shit. Yeah, to add one, you, you can just look at him with that setting. Look at it with the entity. And it'll auto fill his name, so MPC RP George. Add it. And it'll take a couple of seconds since we have a web based menu. But once it's added, you'll see it, and you can easily delete it by just clicking the X or the trash can. I love citizenhack.me because it's undetected on Moat Gaming Roleplay. Quick, say it in chat. I thought Moat was TTT, dumbass. I know, it's fucking good.